Hey there everybody, I'm Albert, and today we're going to talk about real estate. We're going to dive into three popular real estate investment strategies, buy and hold, flipping, and short-term rentals. We'll compare the pros and cons of each and help you choose the right way to reach your goals in all kinds of market conditions. Let's get started. First, there's buy and hold. This long-term strategy involves purchasing a property, renting it out, and holding on to it for appreciation. It's ideal for investors looking to build wealth over time and generate passive income through rental payments. The pros are that buy and hold strategy includes investing in st with steady rental income, potential for property appreciation, meaning rises in the price, tax advantages such as depreciation and deductions. The cons are that it requires a significant amount of upfront investment, ongoing property management, and a lot of patience because it takes a long time for that money to roll in. Next, we talk about flipping. There's the process of flipping, which is buying a property at a low price, renovating it, and selling it for a profit. This strategy is perfect for investors with a keen eye for undervalued properties and the skills to add value through improvements. The pros are that flipping can yield quick profits and doesn't require long-term commitment to a property. The cons are that on the downside, it's high risk. It demands a lot of time, money, and expertise in renovations as well as a thorough understanding of the local market to ensure a successful sale. Last, let's talk about short-term rentals. This strategy involves renting out a property on a platform like Airbnb or VRBO, targeting vacationers or business travelers. These people tend to have a lot of money. It's an excellent option for investors looking to capitalize on high demand areas with a constant influx of visitors. The pros are that short-term rentals can generate higher income per night than traditional long-term rentals and offer flexibility in using the property for personal purposes when it's not rented out. The cons are that when it comes to increased property management, fluctuating occupancy rates, and potential legal restrictions or regulations, there can be some significant problems. Some places won't even let you use an Airbnb. So in conclusion, the best real estate investment strategy that you use depends on your individual goals, financial resources, and market knowledge. Take the time to research and evaluate each approach to find the perfect fit for your investment journey. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to littlebluepiggy.com for more examples on how to become the perfect investor. Have a good day.